Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing my PS2 collection and I actually recently scavenged these for my parents' house. So these are the games my brother and I had back in the day and I thought it'd be fun to reminisce and share what games we picked up uh, way back when. <laughs> to be honest, I thought most of the games got traded in to like GameStop for a uh, store credit, but somehow um, there are 35 games here that didn't get traded in. So um, about 20 of these have cases, so I'll be going through those first. Um, and we have a binder full here of loose discs. So I'll get to that one last. So these first few are some of my top favorites. Um, and that include Kingdom Hearts, the first one. And this is my first introduction, I think, to any Final Fantasy character. And um, I wasn't a huge Disney fanatic when I was a child, but I did really enjoy all of you know the mix of the Kingdom Hearts characters, Final Fantasy, and uh, Disney. So the back looks like I'll need to see if I can remove these stickers easily. <laughs> um, and of course, I have the sequel as well. Both have the uh, shiny covers. But yeah, I think Kingdom Hearts is going to be just a franchise that always kind of sticks with me, especially these first two games. I haven't really played. Um, any of the more recent ones, but um, I really should get back into this, especially after all the kind of collections they've been releasing on modern platforms. But I think of these two games, um, the second one is probably my favorite. Another favorite was Psychonauts. Um, we really loved the 3D kind of action platformers, as you'll soon see. Um, but yeah, this, I actually haven't played the new one, and I really want to. I've heard great things. Um, but yeah, I replayed this game a ton. Um, I loved all the little psychic mind powers and just the whole world Tim Schafer made in this game was just so well done. And then continuing with more platformer games, um, I have the first Jack and Daxter, uh, which again, another favorite. Um, this case is a bit worn, I probably should replace it. But yeah, um, I just loved how the, the series just kind of evolved over time and got a bit darker and more mature. But this first game was a lot of fun. It is much different from the sequels, as I'll share later in this video. But yeah, um, I just loved all the characters. I thought there were a lot of great one-liners and um, all the little environments were great, I thought, for the PS2 era. And I feel like you can't talk about Jack and Daxter without talking about Ratchet and Clank. So we only have this um, up your arsenal in a box. But yeah, this is another great 3D action platformer. Um, all the little weapons you could get um, and upgrades were a, a lot of fun to experiment with and it, was a bit of a collect-a-thon like Jack and Daxter. But yeah, this is another just classic and definitely, I think, one of the best games on the PS2. Then we have Final Fantasy XII here. And this is still the only Final Fantasy game that I've completely um, beaten. And yeah, I just really love this game, I think, because of the Gambit system. It did take me a little bit to understand when it has come out, 2006. So yeah, I was like a freshman in high school. I love the kind of political intrigue of it all and while the story didn't kind of live up to my expectations after beating it, um, I just loved all the environments and um, it kind of felt like an MMO without being an MMO, which at the time I was kind of dabbling into, but I just kind of prefer just playing this up myself over an MMO. Next we have our first sports game and that is SSX Tricky. And yeah, this was a ton of fun. Um, I've never played a snowboarding game before, but all the little tricks and things you could do was pretty addicting. And I feel like with a lot of racing games, I feel kind of pressured to kind of beat people, but this one had more of an emphasis on the trick and combos that I enjoyed. Oh, and this is a loose disc, but we do have the first one, which I don't remember at all. And then next we have God of War here. This is another classic um, action heavy game. Um, and I really loved the mix of Greek mythology in this. And to be honest, I'm surprised our parents actually let us buy this. Um, so yeah, this was back in 2005 this came out. So yeah, we were pretty young and this is a very gory game. And the next one is a game I don't think I played. So this is Transformers, um, the game. I was never into the Transformer franchise, but I think I did hear this is decent. Um, my brother must have bought this and played it at some point. Um, the next one is Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings, and I think this also came with yeah, a soundtrack inside. I don't remember playing this one at all. I remember 
there was some Lord of the Rings game we got that was super buggy. We couldn't get past the tutorial. <laughs> um, so I don't know if that was this game or another similar game. But yeah, I was really into Lord of the Rings, um, yeah, all through high school. So I may have played this, but I honestly don't remember playing this. I remember playing more of the second game, which I don't see in this collection, so we must have traded it in. I'm remembering correctly, I think that game was more fun. Next one is, I don't think I played this one either. I may have watched it. I, I did end up watching a lot of these more um, kind of third and first person action shooter games um, that my brother played. So I can't really speak much on this one. And I can't really speak on this one either. This is Mario 2, um, Ultimate Ninja 2, and I believe this is a fighting game. And I'm surprised my brother bought this because he was never really into Naruto. Maybe he wanted to give it a try. This one does not have a cover, but um, it is Prince of Persia. Just have the pamphlet there. I have a very fuzzy recollection of this game, but I do remember it having all the little obstacles you had to like jump through. And yeah, that was, I think, pretty cool at the time. Next one we have the box for, but I cannot find the game. And that is Calamari Damasi. And I remember loving this game, but also being frustrated by it with the timer. But yeah, it was such an innovative game at the time of just going around and collecting various objects and forming a larger ball. And eventually it amasses to something where you can pick up really large items. But yeah, this was really quirky and fun. Um, I know that this has been be released on different platforms like the Switch. But for some of these games, the ports don't always feel the same as playing it on the original hardware, like on the PS2. And how the little analog sticks and everything kind of worked back then on that hardware. Next are some Star Wars games. The first being the second Lego Star Wars game. And we had a ton of Lego games back in the day. I remember really enjoying the Indiana Jones ones, which I can't find in this collection. And I think we had like most of the Star Wars, whatever came out. We were never really that into Star Wars, like the movies or anything, but yeah, the games were a lot of fun. And then we also had Star Wars Battlefront. So this is the second one here. We have the first one, I believe, in the sleeve. And this was really fun because you could fight as a Jedi or just the various different players in the Star Wars universe. And they had the different worlds you could visit. But yeah, I remember playing this and really enjoying it. Next is Devil May Cry. And I don't really remember this actually. So this may have been something my brother mostly played. Um, I know this series, of course, I just can't really recall much of the gameplay or the story. Next is one I'm pretty sure my brother mostly played and I watched, and that's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And yeah, this was the classic back in the day. Um, I don't think we had any of the other Grand Theft Autos like Vice City or the other ones. I think it was just this one in our household. And next we have Destroy All Humans, and um, this is another really fun and innovative game. I know they poured this over to the Switch um, and maybe the PS4 recently, but I heard that doesn't have the same charm as this original PS2 game, which it was just so fun playing as an alien and kind of destroying all the um, Earth environments and things. Next is another kind of racing game, um, Arctic Thunder and I don't think we really played this at all. My brother and I didn't really play racing games much. So I'm not sure why we have this, to be honest. <laughs> all right, so those were all the cases I could find. Um, and the rest are in this. So let me go through this semi-quickly. This first game is DDR Max 2. And we used to have the pads and everything. I think my parents must have given those away long ago because of just how bulky they are. But yeah, we used to play this all the time um, with friends and things. I think that was the only time I really played video games um, with friends back in the day. So I introduced the first uh, Jack and Daxter game. So here is Jack 2 and Jack 3. And yeah, I just really loved the progression of the series and just how Jack matures and gets a bit more cynical and I guess dark. I know they've remastered these on the PS3 and the PS4 and I've heard those are pretty good, unlike the Vita version. So. Um, I might try to revisit this series again. Then similarly, we have the first, Ratchet and Clank. I think this was the third, Ratchet Deadlocked. I also liked how the story and characters kind of grew and matured over time, though it wasn't as extreme as we saw with um, the Jack sequels. So I thought the Ratchet and Clank series maintained its sort of lighthearted feel a little bit more. Next we have Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Another classic for the system. Um, I don't believe I played too much, but I definitely did watch my brother 
sneak around and um, have fun with this game. And then here is that first Star Wars Lego game. So these Lego games were a lot of fun on the PS2 before they started getting a little bit oversaturated. And then another classic is Resident Evil 4, which I did play a little bit. I don't think I got super far in this game, um, and I definitely watched my brother play this as well. And yeah, um, there's a reason why this is a fan favorite, I would say, in the series. And next we have Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. And to be honest, I don't remember playing this that much. Um, I did see that they recently ported this over to the Switch in a double pack. And then we also had Sly Cooper here. Um, and I don't think I played too much of this game because it did rely more on stealth elements, which was never really my favorite gameplay aspect. I remember at least trying it out and watching a little bit of this. And it was fun for what it was. Um, again, uh, just some of the stealth elements isn't really my preferred gameplay style. And next was one of my brother's favorite games, and that was Bully. So this was um, basically the high school version of Grand Theft Auto. But yeah, I don't think I played too much of this. Um, just a little bit here and there. It was pretty novel for the time. And it was more age appropriate for my brother back then um, when he started playing this than Grand Theft Auto was. Next, we have a few more fighting games. So we have Soul Calibur 2 and... Yeah, I don't think I ever played this. <laughs> and also Tekken 4. And yeah, I, my knowledge of fighting games is very subpar. <laughs> we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 here. Um, this was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it and it looks like it's all scratched up. So I don't know if it will still play actually. But I just remember how fun the soundtrack was and all the little tricks you could do in the different environments was just um, a lot of fun back in the day. And then the last game I managed to find was the first uh, Star Wars Battlefront game. And I don't really remember the difference between the first two. I think I played the second one more just because it was a little bit more refined and there were more, I think, environments you could go visit and characters you could play as. But yeah, that was everything, um, all the PS2 games we had back in the day. I know we owned a few other ones that we played, and, but I don't really see here. Um, that we must have traded in at some point, um, but it looks like we kept most of our top favorite games um, Which is nice to see so I guess my question for you guys is what are some of your favorite ps2 games? And do you still play on the ps2 or are you more of a fan of playing some of these games remastered on more modern platforms? I would be very curious to know and that's everything. So until my next video. Bye guys